Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutex. So few days back we got the leak alpha version of Oxygenos 12 for OnePlus 9RT. You can check that video from the right side I card. But so many question arises in the lots of people's mind that is it daily driver built, having good battery or not, performance, stability and the gaming, especially the Indian peoples who loves the BGMI most. In the last video I tested all the basic functionality and the new customization features for the new Oxygenos 12 alpha build. So today in this video we will do the full performance, stability, battery and the gaming test so you can decide whether you can switch or not. Now with the further ado, let's get started. A new adventure. So first of all we will do the performance test by using the Geekbench which is the most trustable source of Android device performance testing. As the new update comes with the Hyperboost 2.1 engine, system will run without the lag even in the heavy load. I really felt it is in the overall uses of applications, opening, scrolling, swiping, touch response and the RAM management all are very good. But as this is the alpha build, I felt the minor lag while using the some applications like the Google Keep only. First of all, I check the CPU temperature and it's normal ranging between 42 to 45 for the different cores and the components of the CPU. I ran the Geekbench test without the performance mode. After the test, I got amazing results which was better than the Oxygenos 11. I got 8 GSM for the single core and 3 to 5 8 for the multi core. Single core performance just low but the multi core results beated all the devices. Then I ran the test to check the GPU driver performance on the OpenGL drivers and it got very low scores of 4669. So I thought it may be because of temperature which was risen to 45 to 48 degrees Celsius. Then I cooled down the device and I enabled the performance mode and ran the GPU test. But I got only slight improvement with the score of 4717. Single core results broke all the records it reached to 1072. But the multi core results are slightly lower to 928 but it's still the best. Temperature of devices after the two consecutive cycles reached to 46 to 50 degrees Celsius. So as per these results it's confirmed that the device on Oxygenos 12 has the great potential to fully use the powerful triple eight processor and to give the outstanding results it's time to check the 3d benchmark to verify will this new update improves the graphics performance which affects indirectly the gaming performance there are four graphics tests are involved in this wildlife wildlife extreme slingshot and slingshot extreme first i ran the wildlife extreme which is based on the Vulcan graphics driver and i got 1361 3D benchmark also gives us the comparison of score with the average results of current tested device and other devices also. Now for this test my results are 9% higher than the average results of 9RT. Our results are higher than the Mi 10 T Pro, OnePlus 8T, Realme X7 Pro and iPhone 12 Max Pro and 42% higher than the overall devices on the 3D mark test. Next I done the Wildlife Extreme test here we got the 4120 with the average frame rate of 24.70. Here again our device beat at existing results of 9RT and the older devices including the S21 Ultra. Then I done the slingshot test for the OpenGL 3.1 drivers but our device actually have the 3.2 driver version but I did not got any option in the app so I used 3.1 and I got the results of 6776. Here also our device beated all the devices except Galaxy S21 Ultra. So these results are also pretty good. Next I done the slingshot extreme test, there I got the score of 5379. This time we got the lower score, here the Realme X7 Pro, Galaxy S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 8T beated our device. But our device scores are 91% better than the all the device results available at the 3D benchmark test. These results confirms that the new alpha update has very good graphics performance so we can accept the better gaming. It's time to check the stability using the CPU throttle for the 5 minutes test. I enabled the CPU temperature display in the setting of the application. I accepted the better results something above the 85% but I got the result of 82% which is good but for my OnePlus Nord 2 which is media core device still gave me such results. Actually I done the same test 2 times more to confirm the results there I got the 85 and 72% respectively. The last test was done for the 7 minutes where I got the OS result. 
CPU temperature rise into 48 to 51 degrees Celsius, so it's confirmed that the new Oxonus 12 did not have good CPU throttling ability instead of device had liquid cooling technology. Until now, we have seen the numerical performance of the device except the CPU throttling in the all the tests Oxonus 12 Alpha outperform. So now we will see the real life gaming experience. I use the BGMI to play because it is the most intensive graphics app and the most of us favorite gaming application. 9RT supports the Ultra HD mode but I didn't download it the add-on so I kept it at HDR mode and FPS to the extreme. In the game mode I kept the pro gamer mode enabled and in the touch optimization I kept the touch and the swipe sensitivity at the highest level. I kept system status enabled to keep watch on the game frame rate, GPU and the CPU. I also enabled the Force 120Hz mode, you can check that from the iCard video. I kept show FPS rate in the developer setting of the developer option. At the start, the game frame rate was very low, it was fluctuating from the 20 to 50 even if our screen refresh rate was at 120Hz. But as soon as the actual gameplay started, it was settled down between 54 to 59 Overall, the game was very smooth, amazing touch sensitivity with the amazing graphics. I played 3 different games, but in the last, the game frame rate was stable at 57 without the no hiccups till the end of the game. I think here the OnePlus new end-to-end -end frame rate stabilizer started to work. Temperature of the device risen from the 47 to 50 within the gameplay but it doesn't affect the game performance. So it's time to check the battery life. I am using the alpha build from the last 5 days where I gone through the 3 different battery cycles. This one is the current battery cycle. Here it's showing the device user for the 1 day and the 11 hour and the 24% of batteries left with estimated battery life of 6 hour. Total screen on time is the 7 hour and 20 minutes. These are amazing results but I did not use the device a lot except today's heavy test. So in the app you can see the telegram, CPU throttle, PGMI, 3D mark are the most battery consuming applications. If you follow the recommendation by the new smart battery engine of new update, not so much improvement found, only few minutes of battery estimated increase. I kept Wi-Fi, NFC on hold the time except that other things like Bluetooth and GPS user as per need. AOD was off all the time. This is all about the new alpha build which has the amazing performance graphics improvement along with the highly optimized BGMI gaming experience and the amazing battery life. Only CPU throttling results seem somewhat got down as compared to Oxonos 11. But still Oxonos 12 is really fits daily driver build even if it is tagged with the alpha. But before upgrading please check the iCard video mentioned at the starting of the video to see what are the major issues I found and the full feature review. That's it guys for today. If you think I help you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.